tell my wife's back from New York? Unfortunately. Didn't get to wear this shirt during a game that they were playing because they they lost before she came back on Friday. She came back on Saturday. <sighs> it's also why, well, I looked pretty good yesterday. I already got stubble and stuff, man. I don't know. Of course, it is late in the day, too. It's 6.05 p.m. It is Tuesday, the first work day of the week, thanks to Memorial Day. And thank you to all the troops. 60 degrees outside. We had a one-day heat wave on Sunday. Totally weird. Just decided to be 92. And then the next day, nope. Back in the 70s. In fact, it may not hit 70 again in the Twin Cities until... Saturday? I can't remember. As I pull up the weather forecast. Saturday is supposed to hit 75. Sunday is supposed to hit 80, so here we go again. But for the week, cloudy, cool, perfect. We had a weird eyebrow thing going on. But... Again, not hot enough to get me ambitious enough to go up to the attic and pull down the window air conditioner and install it. Because that son of a bitch is heavy. And it's also nice just to have the window open rather than block it by putting an air conditioner in there. Wow, it's been forever since we've talked. It's only been four days, but... It's going to be a short week for me, too, because I've taken Friday off. Unfortunately, I have nothing to do Thursday night now, because, alas, Staryoki is gone and ceremoniously dumped in favor of nothing. So, I guess I'll just never go to that bar again, but it leaves me with nothing to do Thursday night. So, if you have any ideas, and it doesn't involve me driving more than several hours because most of you aren't actually around here. <sighs> Without junk food, by the way, the Canadian junk food wall, I did get the cheesies bag on there, you can see. I don't know how long it's going to stay there, because all those bags still have crumbs in them that are probably decomposing even as we speak. So if it starts smelling funny in here, I'll have to redecorate again. But without any food, junk food, and I took the American junk food home. There's so much food at the house, but there's nothing here, so I'm starving because I haven't eaten. Oh, I also got this from Kim, which is ironic now, but it was pretty cool. She actually got to go to MSG for a viewing party where they handed this out. Whoa! So now i got to find a place for this, too. Or maybe not. Wait for hockey season. But it's super awesome. That's a good thing about letting your wife go on vacation. She'll bring you home a gift. If you're good. So we had the big barbecue last night. Which took me away from Raw. Which is just as well. Because Raw was so exciting. I ended up taking a nap through most of it. And I missed that blatant video game advertisement. That passed for a segment. Part of me wants to go back and watch it, and part of me is like, eh, we're all just treading water until the big thousandth episode anyway, right? So it's going to be another boring seven weeks or so. And then, then business will pick up, and maybe we'll uh, remember that we got Brock Lesnar. There wasn't any Tensai last night, was there? He's not Lord Tensai, he's just Tensai. Or maybe he's not even that, since he wasn't on. I don't know. For some reason, the cable guy didn't treat it like it was a live show, so I thought maybe it was pre-taped, but it was live. So that was very confusing to me. Not that it was something I dwelled on. The good thing about the barbecue is you go and then you, you drink lots of beer. So that's part of what contributes to the nap you end up taking during Raw when you're watching it on the DVR, but also the fact that it just wasn't a very exciting show. It was nice to have 
Punk and Brian again, but I don't know. Can you overplay that card? I guess I'd like to find out, but interesting. In fact, I should probably check and see if the ratings came out. I'm sure they have, but I'm really behind. It's the problem with even when it's a holiday in your country, everybody in India is still working and everybody in China is still working, so there's still a whole bunch of work that you just didn't get to on Monday that you got to take care of on Tuesday in addition to Tuesday's work. And I have an 8 a.m. meeting tomorrow, as I have for the previous two Wednesdays. I don't know how that works. And I'm just flirting with disaster by taking Friday off. But I like having a three-day work week. I don't know about you. That's just that's just what I think. Yeah, nothing yet. Nothing yet. Um... Everybody's got their own little insular problems, and I hate being on Twitter and knowing what they are, because they're all so unimportant, and yet I still seem to know what they are. Does that make sense? Probably not. Let me go find some comments to bounce off of, because me working myself isn't working too well. Uh, and we did have four days of comments to get through, so... Come on, baby. James asks if I've tried the Crunchy Bar yet. No. Uh, and it's at home, so I'll have to try it again. Or for the first time and let you know. Boiled Peanuts Contest update. Uh, I was the only person to enter, I think. They didn't actually confirm that, but they did finally send me an email saying I had won. And the weird thing was, when I wrote back, the reply bounced, so they didn't get it. So I had to go through Gmail, and hopefully they got that response. I guess I will know if there's a box of boiled peanuts on my doorstep sometime. Otherwise, I'll have to say, hey, did you get my email in a couple weeks? And it'll just be not even worth bothering. But I want some boiled peanuts in a can, man. Actually, I want to see what kind of uh, NASCAR type gear I get. Probably an autographed hero card and a cap, I'm thinking. Which would actually be the second one I've gotten this year. I hit speed dice for J.J. Yaley's team. Poor J.J. Yaley. He's a much better driver than the ride he has, and he can't qualify. Where did that come from? That's your NASCAR update. I watched the Coke 600, and I had one can of NOS to help me get through it. And I waited too late to have the cannon off, so I did drift off a little bit. But it was, it, it was what it was. It wasn't very exciting. And the 8500, it was okay, but not very exciting again. Uh oh, I frozen. Uh oh, I stopped frozen. So I, it's just one of those things where like I do it because I do it every year. I don't really have a good reason to keep doing it, but I do. I should probably break that habit. But it's only once a year, right? Except for all the other races. There, but what else are you gonna do? It's the weekend. It's too hot to sit around. I do have to mow the lawn, but I'm concerned it will rain. But I'm thinking because I gotta show up early tomorrow. I'll leave early, so there should be plenty of time for lawn mowing. You're now up to date on my lawn mowing plans. Doug misses uh, my facial yeti. Look, I'm already growing it back. The real question will be, will I wake up tomorrow with enough time to shave? Probably not, because it's going to be so freaking early. But we'll see. I want to try to, like, do a constant, constantly shaving. I want to try to, to do that. I want to try to build up a routine of that. See if my face can handle that razor. It always there's always shock involved, and I end up with like a really red neck, and like I'm not enough of a redneck already, right? All right, that's ten minutes. A really boring, awful ten minutes, and I apologize. I will try to do better tomorrow. But if you have any questions for me in the meantime, you know how to hit me up on all the places. CRZ.net has all the goodies as well. So thank you for watching. I will see you tomorrow. 
and uh, I will be a zombie then, too. Something to look forward to, as always. Goodbye!